here at On Track New York, when working with a young person navigating their first episode of psychosis, we really center them on sort of being the captain of their ship and us being essentially their team and saying, how can we support you in being able to live a fulfilling and meaningful life? At 19, I was diagnosed with schizophrenia. When I first started experiencing hearing voices, it was very hard for me to understand what was happening. My condition was just got worse and worse as the days went on. And I was really frustrated because I thought everybody could hear what I was hearing. So the On Track New York team at Washington Heights is a multidisciplinary uh, group of clinicians. We are also multilingual and multicultural to meet the needs of our participants and their families. As the team leader, I definitely work with participants and families directly, but I also supervise the treatment team. All of us come to the table as a team with our different skill sets and the different things that we could try to offer as resources to help somebody recover from their first episode of psychosis. A lot of times when participants come to the program, they've been through some hard times and some struggles and a lot of them sort of lose a sense a little bit of who they are. I develop relationships with um, different organizations and people in the community who then send um, participants to us who might be eligible for the program. And when they come to us, I get to meet with them for therapy sessions or to help them with different things that are going on um, if they need help with things like um, getting benefits or uh, health insurance. So I'm working with uh, participants on an individual level and then also in groups using my own experiences and struggles um, and triumphs to relate because a peer specialist has also been someone who has received services. I brought that to my role as a peer specialist using art and music to share and connect. The role of the Supported Education and Employment Specialist is to work with participants on their recovery goals. So whenever participants express a desire to work on their educational goals or go back to work, go back to school, I meet with them and help them with those goals. One of the challenging things is securing special accommodations for students and that's one of the things that I work with them on. Mainly what we hear is like, you know, I want to go back to school or I want to work. Sometimes it's preparing for the interview, it's building your resume, it's, you know, going into the community and actually finding places that are looking for people to hire. They have a whole team behind them and there are resources out there that can kind of help them achieve those goals. We are working together. So the treatment team, our participants, and the families work as a team. Recovery-oriented treatment is so much more, it's so much beyond just looking at symptoms and medications, but it's really thinking about how that person sees themselves in the world around them um, and really trying to support them in having the most fulfilling life. Sharing my story and letting that come out of my head and be out in the open, that was the way that I knew that I was gonna get better. They were super helpful uh, when I got out of the hospital getting me like back on my feet, like they helped me get a job. One of the best things I learned about myself was probably about how you're more than your diagnosis, you're a, you're a person. 